Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us, tuning back in for the Legend 2024 Legends of the Lake. We got round four back nine coverage over at Stampede Disc Golf Course up in Truckee, California. This is the second round of the day for these guys. Um, you got myself, Spanky Edwards, and my buddy Dave Salazar in the booth. Howdy. As always, Safety Ridge Berkeley. <laughs> On the catch cam. Don't forget, guys, this, uh, this event is sponsored by Innova. And yeah, this is going to be a fun back nine. This the course changes up a little bit as we get to the back nine. You're going to start to see the water come into play. Yeah, a little wind. You can, you can see on Tristan there. Going to be a little more. Um, oh yeah, look at that wind. Ooh. Um, going to be a little more side hilly, playing uh, kind of around the backside mountain. There's also a couple of really like bomber downhill holes on this nine of the course. So. Um, those will be fun to watch and maybe hopefully Ridge stays safe <laughs> at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> Better be wearing your safety orange, Ridge. All right. Uh, looks like, yeah. yeah, Tristan, Tristan's, uh, looks like he's in the lead at the moment for this hey. round and the whole tournament. Um, yeah, Ryan trailing just by three, but all these guys are playing pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're all kind of still right there at the top, so. Let's see what they can do here. Hole 10, par 3, 231. Oh, that yanked. I believe he's going for the gap straight off the tee pad. Uh -huh. Surprising to see him go back in. He's kind of found a way to throw a forehand on every shot so far, obviously. Yeah, I'm surprised too. There's always a reason to throw a backhand if it's what it calls for, but he's kind of that forehand technique. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh -huh. Well, you can see the wind starting to come out. Mm -hmm. Stampede, uh, looks like it might be showing its teeth here. Okay, that's okay. going to work. It is only 231. These guys are all going to be going putter, you know. Over some sort of overstable putter. Not sure where that landed. Tristan can still see it. Oh, some cool looking shape to that shot. Yeah. Yeah. Great birdie from Ryan. Oh, look at all these little baby trees. They're going to be big trees soon. <laughs> Eventually there will be no <laughs> fairway. Yeah. Ooh, a little high on it, but it's in. Yep, top shelf. Mike showing us what he's made of there. Oh, Andrew tries. To, he is kicking himself for that one. Try not to lose any sleep over it. There you go. Right, pro move. Take yeah. your back off. <laughs> this is your pro tip for the day. Yep. It's a good decision. I think he would have made it anyway, but uh, it's good to do. When you're in his position, in first place, you might as well just try to secure the lead. Exactly. Making that par putt on the 231 foot hole. <laughs> <laughs> attention, boys and girls, and aspiring disc golfers. All right, here we go. Hole 11, par 4, 441. There's that wind that you were talking about coming off the reservoir. Yeah, either Jason's breathing really hard into the mic or it's windy. <laughs> Jeez, Jason, you mouth breather. <laughs> you can see these guys are putting a little oomph on it, too. I mean, it is 441, but... Uh, feels like a left to right. Who knows wow. what's going to happen here? That was an incredibly straight shot. Watch out, folks. Just turning Ridge around. <laughs> she, she was surprised. She was very surprised. Oh. That looked like a beautiful... That was right. perfect. Oh, no. So, looks like uh, Andrew's got some work to do here. He's going to be a little scramble effect. Or mode, rather. Just makes that. Where is it? The shot so much more uphill now. 
Yeah, high shots in the wind with the left to right slope. It's you know, it's all it's all no good. Oh, somehow getting up for a look. Is that a thunder? Well, let's see what Andrew could tell, if he couldn't tell if he was actually giving himself a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with he was giving himself a compliment. I'm so good. I'm so good. All right, where are we at here? Mike had a pretty good drive, so let's see what he's oh, got. There's the oh, you can see it, yeah. It's actually a little buttery. Yep. Touch flick up there. And then just lay it in for his birdie. Yeah, kind of a tricky hole. I mean, even with some, they had good drives and they're like down on a knee, you know, flicking a putter at it. Yeah, shenanigans. It is a par four, so. Yep. I'm gonna see at least a couple birdies. I think this is Mike's par putt. Yes, it is. Or sorry, Andrew. Yeah, I keep, I like, keep on saying Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great. That's a great par. Yeah. I mean, for what we just saw. I mean, it kicks when it kicks left. It's downhill. It's going far. Yeah. Yes. So he's basically reteeing from down there. It's a rare shot of Ryan Jewell in the sun. Wow. Nice birdie. Back to back. That's got to feel good. Tristan with his bag off again. Smart. All right. Pro move. Pro move. <laughs> Mike, I don't know if that was legal. I don't think it ever came to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Little 12, par 4, 603. This is the downhill I was talking about. This, yeah. is, a, this is a bomber. Excited to see where these guys can do with it. That looks a little overturned and into the ground. <laughs> Did you hear him? What did he say? He goes, that was going to be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's looking low as well. Looks like you want to watch that... Uh... That follow through on the off the tee box too. Looks like there's some ankle rollers there. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tristan going with this tried and true. Oh, he didn't get the flip out of yeah, it. Yeah, he's gonna leak. Oh, no, he's not. Very, very early. Luckily, it's still very downhill, so I think he'll be. You know, they'll all be able to get to it. But I think they're all kind of licking their chops, thinking, "Can I get all the way there?" Oh my goodness. That's a bomb. Wow. If I'm not mistaken, he's left of the pin. That's what I think. Downhill. He's just going over the top. Andrew just doing stuff. Oh, to come out early. Oh, he yeah. got a kick. Flip more. Oh, yeah. oh it did. Whoa, look oh, at it that did. flip. He's gonna, have a, he's gonna have a butt for birdie, I right? Think. That's yeah. incredible. All right, Mike Self, still a little flippy, but he's gonna be, yeah, forty-five, fifty, maybe. Yeah, looks like hard to looks tell. Looks like that. Yeah, it's really tough to tell. Out here in the high desert. Oh, you see where he was? He yeah. Like, was he in the water? He was like right on the beach. Oh my goodness. Good recovery. Hmm. Yeah, he's still. I think he's still putting for birdie. What a touch! Yeah, that's beautiful. And what that's a touch. And he had the longest drive of the bunch, so that's what you get with that. Yeah, we're getting all the way down there. Is oh, <laughs> they were all thinking it was in. <laughs> yeah, it, it shows you that getting the distance off of this tee is really beneficial because yeah. there's less trees the further you get down. You have less to to scramble through. Yeah, exactly. I think he's talking to himself. He's complimenting himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tristan, finding the stride again. Yeah, again, just keeping the foot on the pedal. It's almost yeah. like every time they think that he's letting them in, he's like, watch this. Mm, yep. Well, Ryan keeping pace. Yeah, absolutely. No, I think it was you that told me if you're going to putt with your bag on, 
Take, take it off your putting shoulder. Take it off the right <laughs> shoulder if you're a righty. It's restrictive. Okay. Doesn't allow that shoulder to come forward. It's school time. Guys, this is hole 13. 255 feet. Par 3. Ooh. With the resi. What's the reservoir? Just on the left. This is a... Uh, this is kind of a cool shot. Oh, look at the way the wind is affecting oh. it immediately. Yeah, he got most of the way down, it looks like. Yeah, this time of year, the water is uh, it's pretty low. If you play this course, like, in the spring or early summer, mm -hmm. it's very easy to lose discs in the water. Yeah, the, the, the height definitely fluctuates throughout the season. Yeah, the, at some points, the water will only be, like, 30 feet from the basket, and sometimes it's 100 feet from the basket, you know? Yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Wow. It's almost like they just needed to see what happened to Tristan's disc, and then they figured it out. Oh, saddle. Oh, you can see the water's edge there. Yeah, that went long. Yep, just like I thought the wind would be blowing right off the water. Okay, he sat. That's good. Oh, couldn't I'll, tell how obstructed that was or not. Mm, either way, I don't think you should change anything. His, his nope. stroke's looking really good. Sure. Just has to, you know, probably a little wind too. <laughs> I mean, a little. That flag has seen better days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, nice pot, Mike. <laughs> you heard it there. This is his best putt of the day. <laughs> And now there's no wind. <laughs> <laughs> and it be like that sometimes. Yeah, it's like they say, if you don't like the weather in Tahoe, <laughs> just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Take your full 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh. All right, so we're looking at uh, two birdies on that, on the card. Yeah, nice beautiful backdrop too. These guys are gonna be walking over to hole 14. Hole 14, just 180 feet. No big whoop. No big whoop. No just big don't, whoop. Just don't throw it in the lake. Oh yeah. Okay, not too bad of a kick there. And smooth. Yeah. And nice. I gotta say, I mean, this ups the difficulty level with the wind just howling. Yeah, how do you throw a nice, soft, smooth shot? This is trouble. No, it's not. Oh, good. You see how close the water is, though? Yeah. Yeah, Ryan sent that one a little too high. This is what happens. See, now you're a safe play, but now he's got a death putt. Yep. And yeah, you can see it's white capping out there on the lake. So he just wants this to settle right down. You know, I like it. I like it. Boy, this makes your putting just, a, you know, a little more difficult. By little, I mean a lot. Yeah. At least he had a good angle. He wasn't, like, this is, like, kind of a terrible angle to be putting straight down at it. The water right behind it. Yeah, just trying to get it not nose up. Yep. Oh, see. yeah. That was a full layup. <laughs> He's like, I was running it. <laughs> <laughs> right into to the ground. See, this is, uh, this is an ideal, ideal wow. position. Great birdie. And look at that. Ryan Jewell, four down on this back nine so far. Four through five. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, playing this hole, I'm usually like pretty careful, you know, because I don't, I don't like my disc going into the water. I'll tell you that right now. Good job, Mike. Mike punching in four out of five birdies there. Yeah, it's him and uh, Ryan mm -hmm. mirrored the scorecards for this back nine so far. 
Yeah, just getting again, it's getting tighter and tighter. 31, 31, 30, 34, 30. They're all right there. Oh, dang. Hole 15, 252 feet. <laughs> and there's water. You can see it. Whoa. What's happening here? Not like that. He's trusting the wind there. You can tell okay, that yeah. Long. Yeah, I thought it was, uh. Oh, okay. Man. These guys are, yeah, maybe the wind's pushing it a little bit too. They're kind of pushing it. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Like, their shots look like this looks really good. You can't tell if it's long, if it's. Where you at, Ridge? I think their I, their distance control is probably pretty tough with the wind. Yeah, that's across. what I'm saying. I think yeah. it's getting pushed, and yeah. It, like they, if you practice this with no wind, you're like, I know exactly what to do, and then the wind's just taking it an extra fifteen feet or an extra twenty feet. Yeah. Oh! oh! Wow, wow. <laughs> Andrew McKill. <Let's> go! <laughs> that was huge. Andrew. Uh, looks like you had some tough footing there. Yeah. Tristan's so far away. Gonna play some smart golf. Yep. Get it up there. Oh boy. I can't tell what Mike has in his way here. Oh, okay, yeah. Seems like that's all he had. Like yep. it, it was like a force lap, you know, it wasn't even because of the wind. Look how beautiful, huh? How beautiful. Yeah, I must get hammered by the wind. Look at the flag. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even, the flag's so get falling me off. off. Of here. Get me off of here. <laughs> <laughs> what a great setting, though, for some, for some uh, high class disc golf here. Yeah. Ooh, a boat. He's pontooning around. Mm hmm. He's getting uh, getting a view of some live action sports. <laughs> Look, kids, disc golfers in the wild. <laughs> Hole 16, 258 feet. Yeah. He's slightly up the hill. Yeah. By slightly, I mean a bit. Is that what slightly means? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> My mom loves me. <laughs> Uh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh oh, that looked pulled. Oh, yeah, he's asking for it to get lucky. It got kind of lucky. Ooh, a little forehand punch. Yeah, a little surprised to see Ryan go with the forehand. Uh, seems to have a pretty solid backhand. Now, this doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, back to his old tricks. Hey, look at that. That tree's seen better days, I'll tell you that. I probably got blown over by the wind. Mm -hmm. Black. Black. There we go. All right. Ah. Yeah. Got Andrews checking out the wind. Oh. No. Yeah, that's a bummer. Mm hmm Great, too. Yep, there's a good conversion. Foot on the pedal. Yeah, I forgot what these guys did. And then another par. I believe Ryan's a par as well. Yeah, the second shot was from in front of that down tree. Bag on, very competent. Didn't even take the right strap off. Nope. Nope. 
He must be a pro. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> All right. A whole 17, 258. Little mm -hmm. chipper uphill. Kind of screamed it a little bit, but he's right there at the edge of the circle. Just gotta get past that. Come on. There you go. I like the green area on this hole. You know, it's yeah, a little bit open. Only one little tree, I think, surrounding it, if I recall. I was going to say, it looks nice. A little short, but... Uh, yeah, I think the top of that rock slowed it down just enough, too. I think the power was all there. Late tree hit. Yeah, you could think you're having a good shot, and then you don't know if you don't see it. You know, hits a rock. It comes just Fort up over the hill, so mm -hmm. yeah, hard to tell. Oh, that was... I wonder if he had to go over one of those branches. Oh. Yeah, two unusual misses there from Tristan and mm -hmm. Ryan. I, I couldn't tell what they had as far as that tree being in their way, but it didn't seem like it was. Yeah, that one's a, it's missing high for sure. Ryan Jewell, by the birdie. He's kind of cooking right now. Just quietly ate down. <laughs> Yeah, Mike just making a still a big push. At Eleven down. I mean, yeah. Right back in it. Absolutely. Yeah, he came in what tied for fourth or fifth? I believe. Yeah, he was actually he was using solo, solo fifth. fifth. Yeah. yeah. He had just gotten damn by one to move up to the lead card. Wow. Okay, moving on to the final hole, eighteen. This is a, another one of those big, fun, downhill ones. Yeah, this one's far. Par 5, 920. You can't even see the basket ever. Or your disc. <laughs> or You're going to lose your disc, <laughs> I promise. It's gone. <laughs> gone. All right, just... just throw, throw a provisional. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we played this at sunset mm. one night. We lost like five discs on one hole. Oh, my goodness. Sending it out. He's hoping it does the full flight. It, whoa. Yeah. Did it just fall out of the sky? It caught the tip of a tree and flipped it over to the right. Oh, yeah. That, that's gone forever. <clears throat> Never found. Might go to the lake. <laughs> oh, no, no. There it is. This is one of those shots, though. It just makes you want to unload the bag. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not advised, but... Personally, I'm not pro, but I would keep it low. Especially yeah. with the wind. But I don't have the power that these guys have. Let's just see what happens. And I think if I play this again, I'm going to hire a spotter for yeah. this hole. <laughs> Grab some random walker and then, yeah. hey, you. I'll make five bucks. That looked sweet. You may have lost a little on that tree, but I think you got the majority of that flight out of there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going over the top. Wow. It's over there somewhere. Watch out, Ridge. Ridge wearing uh, not safety black. You can see on this hole, I mean, as long as it is, as cool as it is, the footing's really tough. Oh, yeah. On all parts. For about 900 feet of the 920-foot hole. <laughs> it's rock. <laughs> rock and bush. Rock and bush.
Yeah, what's this coming out, uh, coming in at? Do you know, like the average of this whole ish? I can finally see the pin. Tristan's throwing a. Oh! <laughs> that was a great kick off that branch. I'll tell you right now, it's definitely playing over par. Good it. There was a good handful of birdies. One, two, three. Seven birdies, but a lot more bogeys. All right, I, I think this is uh, Ryan's thir third shot, maybe a fourth. I've lost track, I'll be honest. I think it was his fourth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the footing's just terrible. Yeah, it's, it makes it hard to even jump or step up because you're going to break your ankle if you land on one of yeah. those rocks, you know? Like, that was actually really good right there where Ryan was. Yeah. See what Mike Sales got to say about this. Just harassing the flags. That's how those flags get broken and bent. <laughs> By throwing saw blades at them. Oh, Ow, Andrew Gill. Ow! I believe that was for his birdie. Oh. oh. I believe that was for his birdie. These guys are fed up. You know, this is the, the tail end of two rounds for the day. And a fourth in two days. Yeah, that's some of the lake's hardest courses. Yeah. Nice birdie from Tristan. Yeah, he's going to move to, what, a nine down? Nine under for the round, yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's chugging along. He's, he's putting in the work. Doing what you need to do. Keep that spot in the lead. All right, yeah. He had some pretty high scores here, some lower scores at the same time. Mike at 11, now that's pretty solid. There. Yeah, yeah, he came to play today. That keeps him right there in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tristan at the top with, I mean, there's, other, there's an 11, a 10, and then him at nine, so. Yeah, looks like a Nate. To Tolman uh, in sixth place, shooting a 10 down. 10 solid, Nate. Yeah. Dan, not bad at the six there. Yeah. Alex Kalenji with an eight. Zach McFarlane with an eight. There you go, everybody. Wow. Um, yeah, still a, a, you know, a race at the top for sure. Yeah, um, what do we got tomorrow? A new, a new course. New course. An actual new course. An actual new course. I want to say it's only like a year old in total. Mm -hmm. uh, Kingvale. There's two courses. Kingvale 1, Kingvale 2. Um, I think we're just going to be seeing Kingville 2 tomorrow. I think the AMs played Kingville 1 because it's just one round tomorrow for yep. the final day. So I believe the these guys will be playing Kingville 2. I did have the opportunity to play it oh, you did. a couple weeks ago. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cool shots on it. There's a... Yeah, it's going to be a fun course to watch. So I guess we're going to find out what it looks out. like. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thanks so much for tuning in and we're going to see you guys for the final round. We're going to try to get that done as quick as we can. All right, take it easy, guys. Later.